two parallel plates connected to a 50 volt power supply are used to accelerate electrons from rest. A. If the electrons accelerate from plate A to plate B, which plate has a higher electric potential? Find B. The kinetic energy gain in electron volts and in joules for an electron. And C. The speed of an electron when it emerges from plate B. The mass of an electron is 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31st kilograms. Part A. If electrons accelerate to the right, those negatively charged electrons must be in an electric field that goes to the left. So the electric field direction goes to the left. And the electric field lines, they come out of the positive charges and into negative charges. That means the plate B must have higher electric potential. Because uh, in order to get positive charges in, on plate B, the power supply must have a positive terminal on the right side and a negative terminal on the left side. Because the positive plate has a higher electric potential than the negative plate. The positive terminal of a battery or power supply has a higher electric potential than the negative terminal. The positive terminal of a 50 volt power supply is 50 volts higher than the negative terminal of this power supply. Part B. We need to find the kinetic energy gain. The kinetic energy gain of the electron comes from the potential energy loss. And the U equals to QV. Now in this case, we already know the electron is going to gain kinetic energy. So we know the answer must be a positive number. That means uh, we only have to plug in the number for the Q and the V. We do not have to plug in the signs because uh, we know our answers should be positive number anyway. The Q for an electron is the 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 coulomb, the elementary charge times the voltage is 50 volts. So this will give us 8 times 10 to the negative 18th. And since this is a Coulomb's the standard unit, 50 volts the standard unit, so we get the kinetic energy gain in joules, the standard unit. If we want the answer to be in electron volts, then we would uh, plugging the Q equals to one elementary charge, 1E, times uh, the 50 volts again. So this gives us uh, 50 electron volts. Now part C, we need to find the speed of the electron. So we can use the kinetic energy equals to, so the final kinetic energy equals to 1 half mv squared, the final speed over here. Because uh, the electrons accelerate from rest, that means the initial kinetic energy is zero, so the kinetic energy gain is the final kinetic energy. So the final kinetic energy equals to 1 half mv squared. 1 half the mass of the electron is 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31st. The Final speed, we don't know. We're looking for it. And this equals to the final kinetic energy, the kinetic energy gain. And we need to use the standard unit, not the EV one. Because if we want our speed to be in the standard unit, meters per second, we need to make sure everything we put plug in here is in standard unit. So this equals to 8 times 10 to the negative 18 joules. So we can solve for the speed. In this case, we'll find it, it, to, it is 4.19 times 10 to the 6 meters per second.